Well, it is 651. Welcome back. Inflation is back. The cost of gas, lumber, food. You've probably noted that the prices are surging. Sully Sullivan is joining us now to tell us why President Biden should be worried about this. Hey, Sully, good morning. We're all kind of worried about this. Good morning, Lori. Uh, Lauren, you're exactly right. You know, it's, it's time to sound the inflation alarm, at least inside the White House. Uh, and we, you and I talked about this last week. From used cars and gasoline to lumber and food prices, everything is surging. And, and this is literally the return of inflation after decades long absence. And, and if you think in terms of uh, here in San Diego with respect to, okay. let's just say home prices and gas prices, it's almost like a tax. You can't get around paying it. You can't get around paying the price of rent. You can't get around paying the price of gas. Well, now you, you can't get around paying the price of diapers or or anything else. As I mentioned, even block cheese futures are up. Uh, so, and, and look, at there's a good news, bad news side of this thing. The successful rollout of vaccines uh, is allowing companies to reopen uh, and Americans to resume uh, what we want to do. We want to go out there and spend money. We want to go out, get back to work. We want to travel. Uh, the, there's a couple issues for the White House. So until schools are open, we can't open completely. Uh, because what are you going to do if you have a six-year-old, seven-year-old uh, that, that, that can't go to school? You're pretty tough uh, to go back to work at that point. And the other piece of this thing, too, that's a little bit of bad news is the economic growth has been turbocharged by this unprecedented fiscal stimulus. That two trillion, that extra two trillion, uh, I think was a big mistake for the for the White House. And the and the real reason is even though it was thirteen hundred dollar checks put into the hands of most Americans, if you look at money supply, in other words, when you put money into the system, uh, as we have during all these stimulus, Lauren, uh, if you go back to even the forties, um, it's always follows money supply is always followed by high interest rates. And it's a really ugly picture. Uh, this has turned into bad news for the White House as this economy is overheating. And this is going to force the Fed Reserve to do one thing. If this is not transitory, and look at you've got half of the Fed Reserve Bank saying this is transitory price hikes as we reopen the, the economy. The other half is saying, hey, look, we're going to be in an inflationary period here for, for several months, maybe a year. Uh, that is a big issue because <clears throat> the Fed's going to have to increase interest rates so aggressively that it's going to cause a serious problem for this administration. It's going to cause a problem for the, for the stock market. It's going to cause a problem for your pocketbook. I mean, this literally hits every American uh, right where it hurts. Right. Uh, there, was, there was even an, an article in the Wall Street Journal last week I was reading that was uh, pointing to this, saying this is, this is big trouble for Biden because there's not a lot of, of victories <clears throat> to point to at the moment when you look at how Americans are feeling about the prices of just about everything. And then when you look at the, the, the job market and how many states yeah. are having issues trying to get workers back into those critical jobs, um, this, you know, where, where does this set this up for how long we could be seeing this and, you know, whether or not this will be a transitional or whether it's going to stick around? Laura, I, I was hoping you weren't going to ask that question. I'll tell you why. <laughs> <clears throat> There's no inflation playbook following a once in a century pandemic. I mean, no one no, truly knows how transitory inflation is going to be. And I think that's an issue here. Look, <clears throat> I'm not sounding the, the negative alarm here saying that, uh, that, that the Fed can't do something. Because, look, if you look at what happened back in the 70s, uh, we saw interest rates climbing up to something like 14, I think it was 17 percent, I beg your pardon, for, for homes. Um, Look, that is, that is an issue. I beg your pardon. It was 14.7% in, in April of 1980. Look, the Federal Reserve finally got inflation under control back there when Fed Chair Paul Volcker constricted the money supply. Remember the story I just told you? Money supply is always followed by inflation. Well, the only cure for that is restricting it. So, look, uh, is this a temporary spike due to a supply chain shock and the lack of raw materials, not to mention disincentivized workers that won't go back to work? That's a big problem. Uh, or are we going to relive the 70s all over again? Either way, once again, I hate to tell you this for right now, and maybe I'll have, a new, maybe I'll have another answer for you tomorrow. But there isn't a playbook for this. Yeah. Uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime deal, and lifetime deal. we just got to keep our fingers crossed that the Fed's going to know what to do. But, this, but I will tell you, I'm not a partisan guy, as many people know on radio and television, but I can tell you this. Uh, this is a huge problem caused by and for the White House. All right. Well, we'll see how they how they handle it. I don't know. I don't have I don't have much hope. <laughs> I, I know when you Please. say you know we just got to hope the feds do the right thing. It's like ooh, yeah. okay. We'll Once again, I, w I want people to go read the book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. It is the story of the Fed Reserve, and you'll know why we shouldn't have a Fed Reserve. Nobody knows who owns it. Uh, we, we think we we think the banks own it. We didn't even know that. So it's it's not a federal uh, it's not a federal agency. It's just uh, overseen by Congress. I think you ought to read the book. You'll understand why. Oh boy. 
All right. right. Sully, All right, thank you so Good much. Appreciate it. Good to see you too. Right. Well, coming up in